Hello, uh, welcome back to Project SLXE here. As you can see, I've got the rear end up in the air now. Um, I did wrap up the front end for those of you that are following along. Uh, everything went together great. I didn't have, I mean, no big issues up there other than what I discussed on the, the first, on uh, the last video. Um, haven't gotten to drive it yet. Doesn't have plates and tabs, so I won't know how it drives for a while yet. Uh, I don't even think the DMV is open currently with uh, COVID-19 lockdown happening. Luckily, I've got a, a cache of parts to work with around here. So um, right now I'm working on the, the rear shocks and I just finished up servicing the rear differential and the drive lines. Um, I put on these Gabriel shocks. They're a little beefier than the originals. Um, the originals were totally garbage. Once again, both of the rears compressed and uh, didn't rebound at all. You know, just total junk. So I assume the ride will be much, much better. Uh, I've got one on, one yet to go. Uh, some things about taking these shocks off. It's pretty damn simple. There's just a bolt at the top and a nut at the bottom down there uh, In the design here, they don't give you a lot of room. You can't really get a socket in on the top or the bottom uh, so a, a ratcheting wrench comes in very handy for taking those off um, Take them off grease up the new bushings a little bit slide them back on easy uh, while I was underneath there I like I said grease the drive rear drive line there's a couple grease zerks on the u-joints in there you know you can't really see them very well a couple grease zerks on the u-joints uh, and a grease zerk on the the slide the splines for the the rear drive shaft so hit those three grease zerks I bought a new grease gun at O'Reilly's I've had this uh, old thing forever here that's a pain because you got to use both hands to pump it so i thought for this project i'd get myself a pistol grip grease gun it's a lot easier except the first time i plugged the uh the tip onto the zerk it totally broke on me right away so i had to take one luckily i had another hose around and put a different tip on it and was able to move forward um so the rear drive line's greased. I got one shock in thus far. Um, I serviced the rear diff while I was underneath here too today and had this up in the air. Um, some of you may have one that's clean enough to say use only LSD oil. Uh, most of the Acuras, I believe, are equipped with a limited slip rear diff and a lot of the the troopers are as well. Um, it's G80 code on the option list. Uh, anyway, you just once you drain it, go get yourself some of this PosiTrack limited slip oil additive. It's got a GM part number to it. It does correspond to the Zuzu part number. Um, factory service manual here or somewhere rear axle calls for G5 limited slip differential gear lube um, and over here has an oil viscosity chart for the multi-vis for the rear diff is 8090 weight GL5 so that's what I put in was 8090 weight GL5 um, I just used this shitty Harbor Freight transfer pump for it. It's a total mess, but always seems to get the job done. And then I always forget and never buy a better one because the job got finished with it and it goes back in the drawer. And then you forget about it till the next time you pull it out and you're like, oh, I got to use this messy thing again. But it got the job done, got it filled up, put the limited slip oil in pump it up with uh, 80 90 weight until it uh, starts to drain out the top and put the 24 mil bolt back in place done 
Uh, while I got it off here, I'm working on cleaning up the rear wheels a little bit. I have, uh, I've done the fronts already while I had them off. They cleaned up very nicely for me. Uh, all I'm using is paint thinner here. Get out of the shadow, some paint thinner. And a spray bottle with some Dawn dish detergent diluted with water. Uh, scotch Bright pad. You can see a little bit of before and after on either side of the valve stem there as they started on these fronts a little bit. Uh, work slick. I got that one. A little slot done too. A little bit of before. That's what they. So I got a ways to go. I on these but oh, I did notice uh, I do have one center cap missing so I'll be checking out for eBay probably try and find myself another center cap otherwise it'll annoy me that I have three good ones and one missing so um, anyway that's what's going on for now I'll uh, get this shock on the back and finish up cleaning the rims and get it back on the ground and Look forward to the next project. Oh yeah, I wanted to uh, give a big shout out to Tyson Hughey. Um He's got a fantastic YouTube channel with a ton of Acura stuff. Um, he kind of inspired me to do these videos. He keeps excellent records of all of his projects. I'm uh, notorious for having the stack of giant stack of receipts in a folder somewhere and not very organized so trying to put together a book with all of my receipts and all the projects that have been done and the costs of everything um things that i've done there again made a list of uh things that she needs so um yeah Thanks again, Tyson, for all the inspiration and the great videos. Uh, keep putting them out for us and, and keep watching. But uh, thanks again. Have a good one.